Guys, Dave Shinsky of Baseball Rebellion here. Um, I want to get to the second part of my breakdown, and I want to compare uh, Dallas Keuchel on the left as 2015, and Dallas Keuchel on the right as 2012. Um, he had significant different numbers uh, from the year 2012 to the year 2015. Um, um, his walks per per nine uh, were 4.1 and he actually had and his strikeouts per nine um, were 4.0 so um, he only had 16 starts but um, you know he had more walks per nine uh, in those 16 starts and in 2015 his walks per nine were uh, 2.0 and strikeouts per nine, 8.4. So um, you see a big difference in his numbers from 2015 to 2012. Um, once again, why is that? In my first part uh, of my video, I mentioned the difference between how he looked in his fastball um, to his off speed and uh, compared where his arm was and, and how his body moved into the throw. Um, so I'm just going to do basically the same thing and just show you as he goes through his delivery, just uh, the differences in, in, in what um, he figured out um, in 2015. Okay, so Dallas Keuchel on the left here in 2015, as he goes through his uh, his mechanics, he gets a little bit more of a kick out here. So um, he kind of gets his back leg uh, going towards, towards the, the target and towards the catcher. Um, and lets that front leg kind of swing out and just get down the mound a little bit longer. Um, compared to on this side, he kind of doesn't really move his back leg and, and almost like sits to on, onto his toe and then kind of lets his front leg go down um, almost like an anchor. So um, it just he's just significantly getting down the mound a little bit further here. So at foot strike... Um, this is foot strike on the left, uh, Dallas Keuchel, uh, and here on the right. And I would argue I think that's where he, he, he's at foot strike. Um, that's where I think he's starting to go towards the plate. Okay, so you see a significant, significant difference in his chest area here. So um, he has a little bit more of a bow. So that's what we kind of call his thoracic move. Um, he's using thoracic muscles to get his arm, once again, 90 degrees behind his head with the ball behind his head. Um, and on this side, um, he's a little bit more over his over his belt with his chest, so a little bit more straight up. Um, and you see the ball where um, he's not quite... Um, his arm is on a di diagonal and, and not quite ready um, to throw yet um, is like what we would like to say. So uh, into his throw, uh, I just think he is a lot faster and a lot more smoother on, on in 2015, um, which creates a better angle to throw the ball and just more smooth through the throw. So on this one, you'll see as he starts to come through, he's a little late and his shoulders get a little bit uh, sideways. So that I mean horizontal, which means side to side, um, instead of that, that shoulder on this side just immediately coming right at that target um, nice and fast. Uh, here it's just a little lag behind and that's when his shoulder starts to um, open up and you'll see a big difference in how his arm is laid back so that's where his arm is 90 degrees um, even with even with the ground okay um, here's where I don't think he ever has a layback where it occurs 90 degrees behind uh, behind with the ground behind his head um, on this uh, in 2012 on this angle but uh, um, these are both the same same throws I would say they're both cut fastballs uh, same location um, and you'll just see the difference as he come through, comes through his uh, wind up and I'm, I'm doing it in a uh, fast motion I'm going to hold the button and you'll just see the difference in the smoothness um, from where he lands it's like he's almost flicking that ball out of his hands um, on this one. It's almost like two parts, um, if that makes any sense, all the way through 
is finished now. Was he able to uh, finish through? Yeah, of course. In 2012, he, he still had a great finish, um, but obviously um, wasn't able to uh, consistently get to that foot strike position um, where consistently um, he was able to get to. Um, and why is that significant? It's because, you know, you're a lot more deceptive when you can't see the ball. So um, when he opens up his chest, um, he just shows the ball a little bit earlier. Um, and you're also more likely to show uh, erratic throws more likely. So he just gets to, like I said in the first video, um, to this position repeatedly over and over and over again. And is able to just have that good trigger. Um, with that shoulder coming forward um, a lot faster and, and a lot more repeated. So um, the difference is uh, location-wise, a good strike for call, a uh, good called three strike, and just a little bit off the plate. Okay, so um, that's the difference in, in, in Keuchel in 2012 and 2015, and the numbers speak for themselves. Um, I hope you enjoyed both breakdowns. And um, if you have any questions, um, email, email me or comment on this uh, on the board uh, down below, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, this is Dave Shinsky of Baseball Rebellion. Thanks a lot.